guys, we just checked into our hotel in Traverse City, Michigan. And if you watched my pack and travel with me, which is probably the video I uploaded right before this, you would have already heard me say this, but Eric and I and Quinn are on our first little family vacation with all three of us. And we came to Traverse City for a few days, which none of us have been here before. And then after a couple days, we are heading up to Mackinac Island. Eric has been to Mackinac Island a few different times, but I have never been there and obviously Quinn hasn't either. So we're super excited. It's actually pretty cold. It's really pretty here. It's supposed to rain the next two days that we're supposed to be here and it's like 50s and 60s, but we're gonna make the most of it. We just checked in and got everything settled, but this is our view. We're about to go down to the beach because we don't actually have that much daylight left because it's already like 7.30, maybe a little after. So we're trying to hurry. We wanna go down to the beach because it's probably gonna be raining every other chance we get and then we're gonna head out and try to find some dinner somewhere. Here's a little overview of our room. Here's Eric and Quinn. She looks so cute in her little wintry outfit. Oh, she has milk on her chin. Then we have our little balcony that I was just standing on with our beach view. It's actually already raining, so we're not gonna be out here too long, but I wanted to get at least a quick shot of the beach. So we've been driving around for a while and we're actually kind of having a hard time finding somewhere to eat, partly because it's already eight o'clock here and it's also Labor Day. So a lot of things are closed and I think we're gonna end up going to some food trucks. They look super good, but the only thing is it's outside and it's raining. Also, when we left our house, we were like, I wonder what we forgot. It wasn't even an if, it was just like, I wonder what we forgot. And now we know what we forgot. We didn't even bring an umbrella and we knew it was gonna be raining a lot on our trip, but it's okay. We at least have a car seat cover thing for Quinn, so she'll be totally covered, but we might get a little wet. There are tables with umbrellas by the food truck, so we'll see. The pictures online of the food truck food did look really good. bean burger and Eric got like a parmesan sandwich or something parmesan chicken sandwich and then I've never seen these drinks but this one's like blueberry acai sparkling water what did you get orange soda? just a orange cream soda cool Definitely a fan of Archie's food truck, as you can see. So I'm pretty sure we can both agree that that was like a really good place to eat. Yeah, that was good. We kind of went there as like a last resort because we felt like it was our only option. And I'm glad we went because it was good food. And it was fun and it was cute. The music was super obnoxious, but other than that, it was great. Hi guys, it's the next morning. We just got all ready to go. Um, we came out to the car and we're about to leave and go to a place called Third Coast Coffee, I think it's called. Um, we looked it up last night and it looks super good and we're really hungry. We're doing a taste test on the road because you can't really eat in there right now. So I got, oh my goodness, the top fell off. Everything's like gluten-free, vegan-free, or not vegan, <laughs> not vegan-free, but vegan. Right onto um, it smells it's really glass. good. This is the lemon one. It's like one. super healthy, I guess. And then this one looks really good. This is maple pumpkin. This tastes like fall. Oh, look at the doodles. It doesn't taste bad. I think this it's, is good. It tastes fine. Yeah. Then Eric got a coffee and I got a drink. It was called like Lake Fog, I think, but it's like a chai latte. Now we're driving out to Sleeping Bear Dunes National Park. Okay guys, I am coming to you from the Sleeping Bear Dunes where Eric and I realized what great parents we are. We are struggling so hard here on our, is this our first, this is really our first vacation yeah. with her. We've taken her to visit family, but this is our first time going like somewhere just random where we're not staying at like family's house or something. And we have so much baby stuff. 
anyway, the dunes look so fun to climb and stuff, which we could totally do. But we realized that we left our baby carrier in the hotel room. So we're gonna, we just looked up a video on how to like make her muslin blanket into a baby carrier. We might try to do that, but we actually just saw somebody climbing with a little baby that looked about her size and they didn't look like they were struggling at all. So we might just try to do that. This is what we're about to climb. We just saw three dogs going up and one was the tiniest little wiener dog. We're climbing the dunes. <laughs> it's actually, it's worse than I thought and not as bad as I thought and I don't know how to explain that. <laughs> but we just took a break halfway up and Eric took some pictures of me and Quinn. Quinn doesn't seem to be struggling. <laughs> Dancing while the spring's still here They don't make haste cause they know what's coming we made it to the top. I'm so out of breath. How are you doing? My legs are burning a little bit. Yeah, but it's super pretty. I'd say it was worth it. The view is really pretty. Of course you can't tell on camera. It's never as pretty as in person. Going to the Grand Traverse Pie Company for lunch. It looks really cute. It had really good reviews and all the food in the pictures online looked super good and we're starving because it's like 2.30 and all I've had is half a donut. Okay, so we both got a turkey sandwich, but I think mine has a lot more stuff on it than Eric's. Quinn said she likes Traverse City so far. <laughs> Are you trying out your tongue? Seeing what it can do? It's been a while since I vlogged last. We went back to the hotel for a little while, maybe like an hour, and now we're on our way to see a lighthouse. It's either called Mission Point Lighthouse or Old Mission Lighthouse or Old Mission Point Lighthouse. We're actually not sure because it seems like we've seen it called something different in a few different places. But the drive out here though is so pretty. We've passed so many like vineyards. Well, they're like all over the place up here and it's so pretty. If any of you guys have ever seen the movie Letters to Juliet, it kind of reminds me of when they're driving on all those like roads in Italy, I think they are, and there's just vineyards everywhere. It's not quite as pretty as that, but it's super pretty. Eric let me wear his jacket because I didn't even bring one because I didn't really have a good one. We actually need to go get me one. That was the plan, but we haven't yet and it's freezing. We have Quinn like all covered up in here. Trees are dancing while the spring's still here. They don't make haste because they know what's coming. So normally you can go in and like tour in the lighthouse and stuff, but right now it's closed. I think just with the pandemic it's closed. So that kind of stinks, but it is pretty on the outside too. Um, we're definitely not gonna be swimming. This little log house is right next to the White House and it's just a rare log house that's still standing from the 1850s. It's so cute and it looks like it's in super good condition. I mean, I'm guessing they've probably had to fix things up. You can kind of see they have it all set up in there like an old fashioned house. There's a black squirrel right here and I know for some people that's not cool at all, but for us that's super cool because we don't have black squirrels where we live. We just pulled up to a lookout point and it's so beautiful. And of course it's a million times prettier in person, but I think it's still pretty on the camera too. We're trying to put the big camera on our little gorilla pod that's for the vlog camera. And Eric's like telling me how he thinks it's gonna work and everything. And then as he's putting it together, one of the legs literally snaps in half and goes falling into this abyss. I actually need a new one of these because I've used it so much that the legs just like pop off so easily now like these things pop out which they're supposed to do that but it happens when I don't want them to and 
One of these is so loose that like every time I try to set it up, it just like slides down. We're leaving the lookout, but that will probably be one of our favorite memories from this whole trip. We were trying so hard to get a picture of Eric and me with like the self timer on our camera and it was not working. Actually, I just looked awful in all of them. Since we were on a hill, we were trying to like jump so we'd be in the frame better and they turned out hilarious. I might put one in. So we just picked up some people. Oh my word. <laughs> we just ran over a curb, but we just picked up some pizza and breadsticks from a place called Paisano's. They were super friendly, like so friendly. And we're actually gonna take it back to our hotel and eat it because first of all, Paisano's doesn't have like dine-in or anything right now. And when, mm, okay, that's so much for us. Okay, when we were ordering this food, I think their options were 10 inch pizzas, 14 inch, 16 inch, and 18 inch. <laughs> I just said a 14 inch for us and I gave Kara like a representation of that. And she literally scoffed at me that it was so small <laughs> and that she needs to eat. Now we have a massive pizza with, I think, about like 20 bread So many breadsticks. Yeah, so we're taking it back to the room because Quinn's about to eat and they didn't have dine-in anyway. How's the breadstick? They smell amazing. So I might have gone a little overboard on the size of pizza. <laughs> and Quinn took a long nap in the car. We actually have quite a few things that we want to do here in Traverse City tomorrow and we're not even staying the whole day. At some point we're going to be driving to Mackinac City and then taking the ferry to Mackinac Island and staying there for the rest of the week. But tomorrow should be fun here. Everything that we have on the list that we want to do I think are fun things. And it has been cold and it has been a little bit rainy but we both agree that we thought it would be a lot worse. We thought it would be like almost storming like just pouring rain the whole time because it showed so much rain these days that we're here. But it has been sprinkling and it's actually rained like a few times but other than that it hasn't been bad. It has been cold but we're both kind of just embracing the fall weather and that we're on a fall trip. Good morning from Lake Michigan. Eric just went down to check us out of our room and I thought I would give you a quick little room tour before we head out. If I'm standing next to the balcony, this is what the room looks like. It's super cute. It looks a little bit beachy since we're at the beach. And then we have the cutest little baby right here. How was your first hotel stay? Then if you walk down the hallway, there's a bathroom. It's pretty simple. The shower's back there. So today we're gonna go explore a little bit more in Traverse City and then I forget what time and I don't even know if we officially decided what time but we're gonna drive to Mackinac City and take the ferry to Mackinac Island. It's gonna be your first time on the ferry. And it's gonna be my first time on the ferry. Hold on when you need a friend, I'll never we just stopped at the Flapjack Shack for breakfast. This place was like highly recommended on anything I looked up for breakfast. And we're running late as usual. We left the hotel way later than we planned on, so we didn't go in to eat. Plus it's like raining and it said it wasn't gonna rain till three, but it's 11.30 and it's raining a lot. We got, we both got some pancakes on the side. Eric got a skillet and I got an omelet. So we were planning on going to a place, it's called something like Traverse City Commons. I, that's not what it's called, I'm pretty sure, but. It's the village. The village at Grand Traverse Commons. I think that's the oh, name of it. Something like that. We were gonna go there because they have a bunch of shops and stuff, but now we're thinking we're gonna skip that. I really wanna get a Christmas ornament from Traverse City and we did pass a different little souvenir shop. So we're probably just gonna go there and then head to Mackinac Island. We had other stuff we were gonna do today. We were gonna like walk around in Traverse City since it wasn't gonna rain till three, but since it's raining, it's kind of pointless to try to walk around and we didn't even bring an umbrella. <laughs> Okay guys, we just got to our hotel in Mackinac Island. This is our room. 
It's kind of like an old fashioned room. We're staying at Mission Point Resort. It's definitely different than anywhere I've ever stayed, but it's kind of fun. It's cool. There's a little towel animal. So cute. And a cute little squish. And she's about to eat, so I will update you guys when we leave the room to do something. We're walking to dinner now. I have Quinn all bundled up. It said it was like, what, 51 degrees? Yeah. It doesn't feel that cold. Like, it doesn't feel as cold as 51. We almost didn't come out, but then we stepped outside and we were like, it's not actually that bad. But it's super cute here. Everything's like old fashioned. It's just really cute. There's super cool old buildings like this church, for instance. Now we're going to get dinner, I think. We might go to an Italian place that Eric saw. We took a horse and carriage to our room. Um, There's like a bunch of other people on it too, but yeah, it's actually so fun. Shout out to my Aunt Sherry, because I'm sure you're probably watching this. I just found some flowers, like the ones that you grow. They're huge, they're like as big as my hand. Look how bright and colorful this place is. It's so cute. It's the Inn on Mackinac. And here comes another horse and carriage. We came to a little pizza place for dinner. It smells super good. And a guy walked past us on the sidewalk with it in boxes. It was probably from here, right? And it smelled so good. We have a nice view outside too. <laughs> I got chicken penne pasta and a breadstick. It smells, good. yeah, it looks good and it smells super good. Now we're going to Reba's Fudge Shop. I got some ice cream. Eric got some fudge. Good morning. Good morning. We are walking to breakfast right now. I'm wearing the same sweatshirt as yesterday because I did not bring enough warm clothes and I just bought this one yesterday I don't know if I said that but I bought it like right before we left Traverse City Because I knew it was gonna be cold on the ferry which we ended up being inside on the ferry So many people riding bikes We are not riding bikes because we have a stroller. <laughs> I got that on camera So we're going to a restaurant for breakfast called the watercolor cafe. It looks like they have a lot of things like smoothies acai bowls all that kind of stuff, which sounds so good right now. So not to make another movie reference, but the best way I can explain what it feels like to be here is, if any of you guys are Gilmore Girls fans, which, best show ever. Ever since we got here, I felt like I was walking in Stars Hollow. Good morning, cutie. <laughs> she looks so fashionable today in her little jean jacket. <laughs> this place is so cute. Pretty sure we're gonna be back here every morning for breakfast because I wanted everything on the menu. Eric got blueberry French toast. It looks super good. At this moment, no one can tell where we should go. Oh, it's We are walking to the Grand Hotel now. It's a little bit of a walk, but it actually is so nice outside. The weather is like perfect. Every single building, every single house, like everything is so cute and I wanna pull out the camera and film everything. But I've done that before on trips pretty much and then hated myself while I was editing because I had so much stuff to go through. Eric has the DSLR and he's stopping and taking pictures and videos of stuff. So I'll probably end up like using a lot of the footage that he's getting and then my vlog footage. And I'm walking uphill right now, pushing a stroller. Eric's always getting his shot. Trees are dancing while the spring's still here. They don't make haste because they know what's coming. We try to wash away our broken years, but it's so hard. 
the cold summer up at the Grand Hotel. We can't go like inside, you have to pay and I don't think we're gonna pay to go in, but there's a little ice cream shop over here. All the landscaping is so pretty. Honestly, the whole island, like the flowers are beautiful. What do you think? We just took some family pictures and Quinn smiled so cute. I also took off her jacket cause it's not even that cold now. You look so pink. Look guys, even the trash cans are pretty here. store has a sign that says dogs welcome people tolerated there are so many cute dogs everywhere on the island the place we're staying is actually dog friendly and i think maybe a few of the hotels or resorts are there's just cute dogs everywhere at this moment no one can tell where we should go we're going down another street that's so cute what do you think, little baby girl? Do you think everything's cute too? We're going to get lunch pretty soon. It's actually like probably three o'clock, but we had a late breakfast, so now we're having a late lunch. And we're kind of just exploring around our hotel first. It's really different than anywhere I've ever stayed on a vacation that I can think of, and it's fun. It's like old fashioned, and I'm not gonna lie, when we first walked into the room, we both were like kind of just looking around like, what is this because everything is super old but staying there is fun it's a totally different experience than staying at some like oh, what is, little squirrel boy? is that a squirrel anyway it's just a different experience than staying at like a fancy resort or something which i think this technically is this is considered a resort isn't it i believe so. oh do you agree so now we're going to a place called good day Hang on, I'm about to walk down a bunch of steps, so I'm gonna put this away. Anyway, we're going to a place called Good Day Cafe, I think it is, for lunch. They have sandwiches and coffee and stuff like that. They're setting up for a wedding over there. You can kind of see there's like the bride and groom and bridesmaids and everything over there. finished eating at the cafe and then we've just been like walking around looking at stuff it's really just a ton of walking here and everything's super pretty <laughs> Quinn is so happy this whole walk well she wasn't she was in the baby carrier and she wasn't happy so then Eric took her and he's been carrying her and she's so smiley and just excited about everything so now we're gonna go to a cool rock is it just called the arch rock yeah it looks cool from all the pictures I've seen so I'm excited for this actually we're going back to the room so Quinn can eat and then we're gonna go to the rock so so I swear if it wasn't for Quinn and Ace, people would never look at us or talk to us. It cracks me up how people like, obviously Ace isn't with us right now, but anytime we take Ace out somewhere or now it's Quinn, people will literally like look at Ace and say something and whatever and like never actually look at us. Or today, I've seen people like look at Quinn and say, oh, hi, or something and never even like make eye contact with us. I know it's just awkward and I'm not the type of person to like strike up a conversation with people I don't know easily either, but it's just funny how like, they'll straight up talk to your dog or baby, but never even make eye contact with you. came out to sit by the water. The sun is kind of setting back there. I feel bad because Quinn hasn't been able to get like a really good nap like she does at home since we've been on the trip. But I will say this trip has just like ingrained in our heads, which we already knew that she was such a good chill baby. But like this trip has just proved that she is so good. She's a little bit fussy right now because she hasn't had her naps. But other than that, she's literally perfect. Oh, are you happy with dad? Are you happy with daddy? There's a coffee shop cafe thing connected to our resort. So we're about to go in. We haven't been in it yet. I don't even know if we're gonna get anything, but we're gonna go in and see what they have. I 
got a hot chocolate and a water because I've been so thirsty this whole trip. morning guys it is our last full day here we have so much stuff that we want to do today we just got ready it's 9 23 which is doing pretty good for us because we said we wanted to leave the room by 9. Quinn is all ready to go in her cute little outfit I think we might go to a cool butterfly thing they have here so we might take her to go see the butterflies not sure if she'll even see them but we will pretty sure I don't really care to see the insects but the butterflies will be cool I've actually always wanted to go to a butterfly thing like this and I don't think there are any like where we live that I know of so when I saw that they had one here I was all excited we're at breakfast, waiting for our food. Our food just came out. Here's my toast. And your oatmeal actually looks super good. Quinn wants some. I have a smoothie coming too. It hasn't come out yet. No coffee yet. No coffee yet. <laughs> How was your oatmeal? It was super good. Yeah. Everything we've gotten here has been really good. So we're about to go explore that fort up there. But first, we stopped for a little milk break. It's time for Quinn to eat. So we're gonna give her her bottle and then we're gonna go to the fort. We're walking up to the fort. I'm so out of breath. <laughs> Thankfully, Eric is carrying Quinn. I have the diaper bag, which is still a little heavy, but we just walked up this hill and now we're about to walk all the way up there. We're on our way up and it's just the prettiest view. We're exploring the fort right now. There's definitely the best views I've seen out of anywhere since we're up so high. The views are so pretty from up here at the fort. This is the hospital from 1828. Personally, I thought the hospital was really creepy and they had mannequins everywhere of sick and dying people. Now we're going in the kids' quarters. I guess this is where the kids could play or something. So we're back at our resort. We just walked pretty far to go to a restaurant we wanted to go to. It's actually like owned by the resort, but it's not connected and it's closed. So we're gonna go to the little shopping place in here that I came yesterday. We're gonna get a Christmas ornament. Quinn's favorite thing right now is to touch Eric's face. She loves his face. <laughs> We're back in our room again. Quinn just ate and I just changed into this cute sweater that Eric bought me earlier because when we were out before we got to the room, it was actually getting cold. And I don't think it's even at the warmest part of the day yet. So maybe it's gonna be like warming back up or something. But now we're gonna go walk. I think we're gonna go to the butterfly house first because it closes at 5.30 and it's already past four. It's like 4.15. So we're gonna do that. And it's on the way to any restaurants we would go to. You look so comfortable. She slept in the baby carrier with Eric almost the entire time at the fort. And she took a small nap in the room um, last time we came back, I think, but. She's starting to seem a little bit tired, so hopefully she lasts. It's also gotten so much busier out on the like main road today, probably because it's Friday and it's a super nice day, so people are probably coming for the day or for the weekend, but it is so much more crowded. Are you ready to go? Yeah. <coughs> oh my goodness. <coughs> Wow, we're gonna go see butterflies. You don't even know what those are yet. We're on our way to the butterfly house. Quinn is being so loud talking to Eric the whole way. We came to a hamburger place for dinner called Mighty Max. We actually almost came here the first night. This bun looks super good. But 
For some reason, we ended up going to the pizza place, but we got some fries. Eric actually got some kind of like a spicy hamburger. Quinn is passed out here on the chair. We're going to get ice cream. We were planning on going to the Arch Rock, but that didn't happen because we basically just ran out of time and we knew we wanted to get ice cream tonight and the ice cream place closes at eight and it's already 7.20, so, and it takes a while to walk there. What'd you get? Peanut butter Oreo. Yeah. Eric just got some fudge to take to his family. And now I'm about to go in here and get some popcorn for my family. We got all of our stuff and we're heading back to our room. <laughs> Is she sleeping? Oh yeah, she's sleeping. She fell asleep with dad. Good morning. Hi guys, we just packed up all of our stuff and we're about to leave. We're gonna go get breakfast at the little restaurant in the building. Then we're gonna go head to the ferry and head home. I'm actually gonna end this vlog because I'm planning on filming more stuff today. Hang on. They just picked up our bags to take them to the ferry. But I'm planning on starting a new vlog today because we're traveling back. We were gonna get family pictures taken back on Tuesday in Traverse City because one of our friends lives near there and she's a super good photographer. But it ended up being a like stormy rainy day and so we canceled it and we were like, we can stop on our way traveling back. But now it's supposed to be raining again when we get there. So who knows if we'll end up getting our family pictures. Thank you guys so much for watching. We had so much fun in Traverse City and Mackinac Island. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. I have lots of fall vlogs coming very soon. I'll see you guys in a couple days with another video. Bye guys. Say bye. Say bye. Bye. <laughs>